and do some additional testing here on the uh, power transformer and of course do some de-resting as well as you guys saw earlier i got the power transformer removed from the old rusty chassis time to do some de-resting on the uh, transformer now you can see the housing here pretty bad shape the uh, inside of the housing's uh, perfect so all the rust here is uh, limited to the outside I'll mix up a batch of my uh, hot water citric acid, a little bit of dishwashing detergent, and the uh, outside plate for this side is actually in good shape. So just a little rust there to remove, and then I'll focus on the uh, laminations themselves, see if I can remove some of the uh, surface rust on the side. Then I'll give the uh, outside housing here a nice coat of uh, black paint. Probably go back with flat because there's going to be some uh, imperfections here, I'm sure. Pitting, etc. And this due to uh, the mice that uh, enjoyed their spot on the power transformer at some point in time. You can see the de-resting of the old uh, power transformer housing here turned out great. And I was able to uh, remove most of the uh, surface rust there from the uh, laminations around all four sides as well. New hardware in place and I've already done some preliminary DC checks. Everything looks good. Let's look at the uh, DC resistance using this little circuit that I uh, built some time back and see if we've got any leakage from any of the uh, connection points back to the uh, housing itself. Or across any other windings. This will actually read in the uh, mega ohms. Then we'll use the audio signal generator, generate a sine wave around 60 hertz or so, hook up to the primary, extrapolate the uh, AC voltage across the other windings, doing some basic math just for reference. We'll start the test here on the uh, primary side. I'm connected to uh, point number three. You can reference the uh, schematic itself. So you can see three and seven make up the uh, primary winding of the transformer. The uh, LED here should illuminate uh, brightly if there's any uh, DC resistance there across those points. And uh, you can see we do have DC resistance. Let's go back to uh, point number one. You might see a momentary flash and then the LED light goes out. So there's no DC resistance there. Five is just a, a tie down location, open terminal. That's where the on off switch itself attaches. Again, we already said seven, that's the uh, primary winding. Number nine, no continuity, which is good. Ten, eight, six, four, and two, so we're good there. Let's go to the housing itself, and we're good there. So the primary seems to uh, check well. Let's move over and start checking the uh, secondaries. Okay, we'll go ahead and check now across the uh, filament winding, the uh, five volt winding that is, as you can see in the uh, picture in picture. So uh, four to eight, we should have uh, continuity. You can see the LED illuminate. I'll just go ahead and go back to the housing itself. And uh, we're good there. So let me just check these other locations. Again, you might see a brief flash. Okay, I think we're gonna be just fine there as well. Let me move over to the uh, 6.3 volt winding between uh, points one and nine. Okay, I moved over to uh, point number one. Let's just go to the uh, housing itself. And I think we're gonna be good there. Point number three, again, we said five is a open terminal. Seven, nine, again, that's our uh, connection point there for that secondary, as you can see. 10, we're good. 8, 6, 4, and 2. Let's move over to the uh, high voltage winding and give that a check. 
we'll look between the uh, plates first, two to ten. Let's go ahead and check the uh, housing first here. And we're good there. Four, six, that's our center tap, so we should see something there. Eight and ten should illuminate as well. Get my hands out of the way. We'll start here at point uh, one, three, again, five is not attached to anything, seven, nine. Okay, we should be good on the high voltage winding now, but I'll go ahead and move over to points 10, and then we'll do the center tap six, just to make sure we haven't missed anything. Okay, 10 to the housing itself, we're good. You can see that's the uh, high voltage winding there again. There's our center tap. Okay, I think we're going to be in uh, good shape here. Just for the fun of it, we'll check the uh, center tap. Just to make 100% uh, certain. Nothing to the housing, nothing on four, nothing on eight, two should illuminate. Shouldn't see anything on nine, seven, five, three, or one. And back to the housing, and we're good. And we'll measure the voltage using the 27FM multimeter. It's capable of rating down to uh, 40 hertz. Again, there's some uh, air in there. Just trying to get a general idea what the uh, AC voltage will be. We'll extrapolate those numbers. Simple math. We can uh, come pretty close. Definitely within uh, probably plus or minus just a few percentage points again for an unloaded power transformer. We'll start out here in the opposite direction. Again, I've got the uh, signal generator generating a uh, tone around 60 uh, hertz sine wave. Let me uh, flip it on. So let's use uh, 46.8. We'll divide that by what we read here on the uh, input side. We'll call it uh, 7.31. And you can see it gives us a turns ratio of uh, 6.4. So if I multiply that by 120 volts input line voltage, that gets us close to uh, 768 volts AC across the entire high voltage winding. Let's go to the uh, center tap location. And you can see we're at 22.87. So I can take the 22.87. I can divide that by, again, the input voltage that we just read of 7.31. That gives us a turns ratio of 3.1285 times 120. And you can see that would put the plate to center tap around 375.43. We'll do one of the uh, secondaries on the uh, low voltage side, just as an example. We'll go one to nine here. That would be the uh, 6.3 volt winding. You can see we're at 0.448. We'll divide that again by the 7.31. And you can see that gives us a ratio of 0 0.061285 and some change. I can multiply that by 120. And you can see unloaded, theoretically, we'd have around uh, 7.35. I appreciate you guys watching to this point. As time permits, I'm going to get the uh, tuning condenser off the uh, IF transformers and the antenna coil so I can do a, a thorough job of cleaning up the uh, surface rust there on the uh, chassis itself. You guys uh, take care. Thanks again for watching.